Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. We got Tomas behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. We talk about helmets, face masks, chin straps, everything to do with the helmet. Yes. And today we're going over some more photographs, submissions. I love these photo submissions. And apparently you do too because we're getting a lot of pictures. But we're going to wait for one more week. Make sure you take pictures of your helmets with the sunset because we got some really outstanding submissions, but we want more. Yeah, so we announced the competition last week. Um, not really a competition, I guess. Not really. Per se. But we want people to submit photographs with your helmet and the sunset. That's the theme. That's right. However you want to, whatever you want to do with that, I say Steve's not going to notice if you use sunrise instead, if you're Get an creative. early riser. True, true. Good yeah. luck with that, though. So, Steve, who do we got here? We have Turner Blake. Um, what is that decal well that's the old Steelers uh proposed logo i don't think they ever wore that logo on a helmet i've I'm never thinking, seen that i don't know maybe 40s 50s that's outstanding i think you know I, and, and i'm just talk going from memory here that i saw somewhere that this is a logo that they um it was either a secondary logo that was only for a couple of years maybe it got, went on as a patch on a jersey or jacket or something like that hmm. um but yeah, it's not something, I don't think that they ever wear this on a helmet. Well, I like that it's like old school meets new school because mm -hmm. it's got the chrome decals and the warning label and all that stuff. But that, that decal is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all chrome. So this is a custom decal or somebody made the, a batch of these. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You know, the, the face mask is a custom paint job. Paint is more of a flat color mm -hmm. that matches the helmet. But you got the chrome stripe that matches the decals. You've got black screws which we all love um i think this looks cool it does look cool from a photo standpoint they're okay but i can see you went through the trouble of cleaning your you know you vacuumed your carpet there we appreciate okay. that okay. <laughs> um yeah i mean it was good enough to make the cut i i do like it good stuff on this helmet yeah okay trevor went we're seeing more and more of these collectibles where people are taking off the chin straps a little chin strap delete i like yeah. it you know what this steve look at this this is gray uh -huh. Yeah, gray pads on the inside that indicates that this is a youth helmet so i have a feeling that trevor built this helmet on his own i like it maybe he's just still in the market for a chin strap and he's trying to figure out which one to get could be it looks like a he modified the visor too you see the old holes there because of the eye guards make it tough to put on visors yeah that's good work does, trevor but nothing a little drill and some ingenuity can't fix yeah now yeah. just take more pictures next time yeah i like it so, Sicken TSR0. Now, I have to say, I don't know if he meant to do this or not, but like half of your pictures are not like in frame. What happened there? Right? Maybe do you think he meant that? He sneezed? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe that helmet was moving too fast? It's okay. We'll give you a pass. You still made the cut because of the coolness factor that you do have going on with the first picture that's cool nice really low down to the ground that's my favorite picture too yeah. but as far as the helmet goes obviously we've got a speed flex here i don't have anything bad to say about this helmet it looked except for um or second i'm i'm guessing that you are a player because this looks like player it looks like it's done up as, as, a, as a player helmet, but it's so clean and new looking, you need to be getting out there and hitting more. Yeah, right? and I this is maybe one of the best use of our 3D bumpers. Man, you guys love these 3D bumpers, and we appreciate that. That looks cool with the gray because mm -hmm. it matches the face mask. And I'm not a fan of the color scheme. It just reminds me of the Mets. It's not your problem, but it's just like me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Riley Woods. Riley Woods. Now... This is a lot of black and red, and I'm okay with that. I it's a, it's a, the background black and red is a little bit over the top <laughs> for me, but I'm focusing on the helmet here. This is a Cardinals helmet, obviously, but what you see here, Steve, is you have a chrome red stripe on a black helmet. You wouldn't know it, but the Cardinals have never worn a black helmet with the chrome, but they have worn chrome decals. So he took the front uh, bumper yeah. decal here, put it on the back. Left, left the Riddell open on the front. So that's a little interesting. I think this is the helmet that he built and put together himself. I can't tell if the side decals are chrome or not. I don't think so. I don't but think so. The you know, funny thing is the 
Cardinals wore chrome decals in their um, color rush uniform. This past year? A couple of years ago. So oh. it's the only thing is different on the helmet is they went from mm. regular decals to chrome decals, and it's really hard to notice. I wonder if this is like a nod to Larry Fitzgerald, number 11? I would say, obviously, well, he put the number 11 on the back, so that, that's probably, this is a, maybe, I will say, a Larry Fitzgerald inspired, but you have a lot of other inspiration here, too. So he's got the NFL decal, which he put on the stripe. Typically, I would put the NFL radio decal on the stripe. Larry Fitzgerald isn't the one who wears nope. a radio decal because he's a receiver, not a quarterback. Um, so you got a couple of, the, you know, continuity Interesting concerns, choices. we'll say. Yeah. But, hey, this is a one-of-a-kind. This looks great, and he's got the big... Um, warning label decal on here that comes from Riddell. This is a helmet that was is a field use helmet that he put together. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, another um, another with, helmet with a lightweight face mask. Looks like it's a youth too. Looks like gray um, pads on the inside. No chin strap. No chin strap. Must be a thing. It's time to upgrade. We're seeing a trend. We've got chin straps. Best pictures so far. Jeff Kettler. Yes, yes. This is how you take photos, boys and girls. Good picture, really nice. And I have that kind of same like windmill and that same Keurig coffee machine. Hmm. So hmm. are they placed like that? Did you take this picture, Steve? I didn't, but I like this guy's style. Yeah, so do I. Um, as far as the helmet goes, though, I love all of it. He's yeah. got on here on the front. We've got the Browns 3D bumper on the top. We've got Under Armour clips. I can't tell. It's a little bit out of. Oh yeah, it's they're a little covered. Bokeh. Looks, mm. yeah, looks like it's um, black uh, Under Armour clips with a, uh, one of our black decals on it, which is really close to that dark brown. Yeah. So only a you know good eye is going to catch that. The face mask looks great. I'm thinking, hey, that almost looks as good as the mask that we sell. Yeah, here. that's right. Um, that's the the chin strap looks great. It looks like I can't tell because I can't see the other. side side of it. Yeah, this is a camp edition chin strap. So yep. this is the exact chin strap that Baker wears. Um, the buckles appear to be, well, the bottom buckle is chrome. The top buckle appears to be orange, or either that's a reflection. Um, but I think he painted it orange to match. I think so too. It looks like there's a, a little bit of residue on this strap, which tells me it's painted. Yep. That's fine. I think it's cool. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then the, and back. the back of the helmet, what you've got is you've got one of our embossed tech flags. So nice upgrade there. You got and, number six. And he put the right flag there. on properly. Flag is on right. Looks like the warning label over here is on correct. The NFL um, shield is on correct. The radio decals right in the right spot. He's he even cut his decal up at the top here. That's not how the helmets come out of the box right. from Riddell. So this is, a, to me, this appears to be a collectible helmet from Riddell, a Riddell Authentic. And then he cut the... Um, he, he cut it the way, same way Baker and the Browns cut theirs. Damn good work. That's a perfect example of the kind of photo that I'm looking for. I love it. If it was, if, if, if we were Tony and Chelsea, this would get a pick. That would get a pick. Yeah. Let's see if anybody knows what the hell we're talking about there. Uh, let's go look at some more. Booyah. Angus O'Keefe. Angus. This man must have a lot of helmets. He made our first video, the cut for the first video, not this helmet. Um, once again, good pictures. Like, really nice pictures. Here's what we got going on here. So, first off, love, gotta, you got to love the name Angus. Mm -hmm. um, and the helmet looks great. This is uh, fantasy football like champion like this the, i think this helmet went to the winner yep. um, of a league he kind of wrote us a little story on this and then he's got Did all he the, win it? he could be the 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 commissioner of the league interesting uh, they're entering their ninth season 14 man league teams earn a sticker uh award decal with their initials for finishing first second or third it's a great looking and it helmet. It looks like he got the helmet from us, the face mask from us, the visor from us, and uh, the 3D bumpers from us. This is the Treasure Highland Fantasy League. That's a proper trophy helmet and right there. And I'm assuming there. they are in Montana because he's got a Montana flag on the back there. We don't sell a Montana flag so he got that from somewhere else, so we're not going to hold that against him for sure. He's got a green gridiron on the back bumper. He's got a green gridiron front bumper. He's got a sports star chin strap. Um, looks great. I mean, they even went through the trouble of doing the upgrade to the uh, ratchet, you know, for the sports star. And for a trophy helmet, that's, like, pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. 
And I like your uh, kitchen counters. Yeah. That's nice. I didn't even notice them, Steve, until you said something. But yeah, I'm so fixated on this helmet. This is, this is a good job. <laughs> it's this a really good job. good job. Yeah, nice job. Thank you, Angus. All right, who do we got here? We have Antoine. Antoine, again, a proper photograph right there. I'm wondering, though, if you use your phone on portrait mode, which you did, look at what happened to the American flag. The, the phone doesn't know what to do with stripes, and it just bugged out. Wow. And so, yeah. So that's, that's, that's a problem. Aside from that. That's interesting, though. Yeah, the portrait mode, they suck right now. I mean, they're, they've come a long way, but they, they, they should have waited like well, another year or two. this first photo, everything looks great, right? Yeah, it's good. Like, if you see the top, it doesn't know what to do with the siding. So it's like, meh. Uh, you know. I'm not trying to be rude. So it's good work. And you made the cut. But man, and, that and flag. Fun. I wouldn't have noticed those things. That flag got mauled. But I think this is still great. This is a great uh, social media post photo. It is. It is. Yeah. And what we have here is Rodell Speed. This is obviously not the decals that the Raiders wear. So that obviously tells me that this helmet was built and constructed by Antoine or he got it from somebody who constructed it. Well, I'm glad that he took the pictures outside because this helmet has a, not a, uh, has a lot of nice flake in it. And I'm glad that it wasn't it gone pops. to waste. It was definitely repainted and that's cool. As long as you're not playing with it, it's probably just, you know. Yep. And then we got a lightweight face mask. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Good work. Cohen Woodham. God, we're getting some cool names today, by the way. Auburn. Auburn. Good pictures yet again, because you could just tell that, like, they put some effort into it. I like the helmet kind of positioned on, like, the cut log. That's different. Um, I don't know. I like it, though. It's pretty cool. A little bit brighter would have been nice. And the, the picture against the wall, like, taken away from the wall. But other than that, it's good. And as far as the helmet goes, I mean, we've got chrome decals on here, which obviously I like that goes well with the visor that you chose, which looks like to be a, I'm going to go with an Inferno Shock 1.0 visor. We got the Under Armour clips. Um, we have the Sports Star chin strap and Sports Star buckles. A lot of little upgraded pieces here. Which, yeah. Which we noticed this stuff. I like the chrome decals. And, and then he's got, his, he's got his little mini helmet buddy. Yeah. That's a good mini. The yeah. minis are growing on me. And it says Tiger's got Tiger's 3D front bumper, too. I like it. Yeah. Good job. For sure. University of Utah. Look at this paint job. From Curtis Straub. Now, this is... Got some interesting things going on here. I don't have a Utah helmet to compare this to, but this is a Shud F7. But the red... I don't know. Did they wear red? I, my, my first gut is telling me this came from the locker room. Uh, I'm not sure because this is this is airbrushed. This is not a decal. Yeah, this is the real deal. This is a super nice looking. Helmet. You know what, man? I don't know. I really don't know. My gut tells me that this came from the locker room, um, but that that red what's it called? The jaw stabilizer. Yeah. Uh, piece there in red. I'm not sure if they wore that or not. If I was them, I would I would have painted it black because it kind of is in that black color scheme area of the design but it's not a hundred percent black so the red kind of would work too yeah and, and I, I mean i think you're right about it coming it's got the quarter turn face mask hardware mm -hmm. that's sweet looking and i wonder maybe that's in their locker room or something i mean like because mm -hmm. that wall is pretty intricate and of course if you airbrush this <laughs> good job good job i mean contact the team good stuff yeah so let us know Curtis, was this from the locker room or did you get this uh, elsewhere? Exactly. Jack McGowan. Jack McGowan. I like this setup. Clean. Yep. Uh, you've got classic number 12 on the side or classic font in the number 12 on the side. You've got a, um, this is a painted uh, flat or matte red helmet. You got the big R, kind of looks like the Rutgers R yeah. almost. So I'm guessing that this is a high school helmet. And, you know, he's got this on display. Right there in his uh, along, along his walk, just walkway. hanging out on the landscaping yeah. light. That's yeah. cool. I'll tell you, the pictures aren't bad, but I'm going to give you a little advice. The one where the the helmet's on the wall, like that's a great background. If you pulled that helmet like five feet away from the wall and got closer to the helmet, that back wall would have just been like all textured and cool. Seems like we have a trend here, everybody. Yeah. Pull your stuff away from the wall, not up against the wall. Exactly. 
Yeah. Aside from that, red's my favorite color. So I guess you, I guess you got that. That's right. I'm guessing. I'm wondering if this is what size this helmet is. I, I'm thinking this could be a size small helmet, just because the face mask is a little bit further away yeah, right at the top here. It's got quite a gap. Mm, medium. Medium. Well. All right. Well, that's it. That's all we got. That's all we got. We would like you to please get your helmet out there. Get the sunset. Set it all up next week. That's the show. Yeah, and I'm gonna be. Pick pretty picky next week. I'm going to be telling people what they could be doing to make their helmets better. This, Fine. This week we're kind of more talking about what they are, and I mm -hmm. think that they were all they were all really good. They were. I think they're just kind of stepping it up a notch. Uh, but I, every single helmet, I'm going to find something. That's right. To make it better. Yep. So challenge us. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to submit your pictures to pics at greengridiron.com. Like, subscribe, leave comments below. Click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.